So what we got here is a DIY wastewater controller built by myself. It's built on using the launch box. I'll present basically the overall concept here. Right, so we have a two power outlets. Uh, one is designated to drive the circulation in our way in our sewage system. The second is to drive the aeration of the water system. Um, let's take a look inside. Slightly too long cables, but I'm gonna fix that maybe next time. So on the the heart of the system is a VMOS D1. It's a famous ESP8266 um, microcontroller. So this tiny board little here, right? It consists of Wi-Fi Bluetooth. We'll take advantage of the Wi-Fi in order to communicate with our controller. Next to it, we've got a VMOS shield uh, dedicated for uh, D1 series. This chipset is used to measure the temperature and the humidity um, around the microcontroller. Uh, we also have a power supply shield, which is basically uh, to deliver the power to our VMOS and uh, two more is uh, two relays those two relays are actually driving uh, our power outlets and uh, most importantly we've got the RTC uh, clock the RTC clock here is um, is uh, the standard for the Arduino based uh, systems um, it's a Dallas semiconductor 1302 uh, this one is powered by the battery but also the battery is to be is being charged every time the controller is uh, connected to the power supply uh, it's important to have RTC because uh, it's not always true that we will have a connection to our network and because of that uh, we don't want to uh, lose the schedule that is uh, that is driving our uh, sewage system so i will close the box at the moment and i will show you how it works For demonstration purposes, I hook up my controller to power supply. Also, uh, provided uh, external AC voltage, uh, which actually drives our uh, our devices connected to the circulation and aeration outlets. For demonstration purposes, I just attach the lamp. Uh, that uh, I will turn on and off uh, as I said this is only for demonstration purposes because in reality we'll have the air pump connected to this um, outlet similar to this one so we'll have a two independent electrical devices but the control remains exactly the same so despite the fact that uh, right now we we are um, playing around with a lamp it really doesn't matter because we'll change the uh, device and we'll be we'll be doing basically the same thing we'll be launching power on uh, will be power on on off the device that is hooked up to this port Okay, uh, so our uh, uh, ESP thirty six, uh, ESP eighty two uh, sixty six is uh, running. It's uh, attached to my VLAN network. So here we have a, a website that is hosted by uh, uh, by our uh, controller. 
uh, we have a status uh, let's say panel that's presenting if I'm running the manual control if uh, aeration and circulation are on and off uh, we've got also the controller time temperature humidity and service reminder service reminder is actually one of the uh, key elements in our uh, system because the service reminder is to actually recall the fact that uh, our uh, sewage system is to be uh, maintained by draining draining the water out of it right so uh, it's for us to do not lose the information right that uh, that uh, whole uh, sewage system requires maintenance procedures uh, on the right side we've got the controller settings so we can adjust the time and date uh, we also can set a service remind timer and we can go into the manual uh, mode for operation so we can enter it right now right I'm clicking the manual and I'm setting a manual control type okay so at the point at this moment of time it's uh, our job to um, to enable circulation and aeration right so let's do that I'm clicking the aeration and as you may have heard clicking sound of uh, of relay we enable the lamp that is hooked up to the aeration port uh, we can turn it off and that's that's basically the function right so you've got remote control powered outlets um, cool feature right uh, but if you click if we set to auto right the service system right now is uh, service system controller is maintaining uh, the schedule that is pre-programmed in this device so we know I'll, in in my previous uh, entry logs for the project you saw that how I did uh, found out uh, uh, how I did find out the right controller settings one of the cool feature uh, that is um, brought up by ESP is that it uh, not only enable us to connect to the Wi-Fi but is also able to create the access point for our usage so that's particularly important from uh, from maintenance perspective because uh, consider that our server system is far away from Wi-Fi so it's very useful to have ability to contact to your controller um, uh, to contact to your controller despite the fact that there is no Wi-Fi coverage so this is just to demonstrate the same right I'm connected to the totally different network this network right now is controlled by ESP and it provides exactly the same service to my cell phone right? so I can still proceed with the same um, same function so as before I can enable I can turn on and off uh, the aeration and circulation manually for instance right this is just for example okay so I think uh, at this point I've explained what's uh, the what's the DIY wastewater controller project is all about I have few other ideas to um, to include in in a controller but at this point I think uh, the controller is sufficient for us to basically install it in the real uh, system right so thank you for watching stay tuned